Sports, Elaine. Uh, we're also quite happy to have you here. So please tell us, who are we talking about today? Of course, it's an actor you won't believe that has been in the business for 16 years. It's the Hallyu star, Yu Sung Ho. Well, he's the same age as me, but if you count work experience, he's got more than a decade on me. And if you guys remember, he used to have this cute boyish image, but after his military enlistment, he definitely became a man. He changed. He matured, of course. Everyone will agree with that one. There is actually one thing that hasn't changed for him. It's his love for acting. And people just love watching him transform each and every time. So with an actor like Yoo Seung-ho, who grew up in front of cameras, I think we have to start from the beginning. The movie that put him in the spotlight that basically kicked off his career as an actor. So this was in 2002, and he was just nine years old. The movie, The Way Home. So it was basically Yoo Seung-ho and the grandmother in that film. They were the ones who carried the movie, the whole film. And of course, he gained a lot of popularity because of this movie. And four million people went to see it in the theaters. Well, it got great reviews back then from both Western and Korean critics. Yeah. And Yoo Seung-ho was adorable, and he showed a wide range of emotions. And he was a nine-year-old acting prodigy. Well, he was so young. I don't even remember what I was doing at the age. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. Well, I heard that he took really good notes from the director. Yeah, well, I was just thinking about that as well because it's interesting that Yu Sungo is one of the few actors uh, that has been praised for all his performances so far. So I'm kind of curious, Elaine, can you uh, maybe tell us what kind of reactions uh, the public had? Well, over the past 16 years, he's been over 30 productions, TV drama and movies. And people had so many good things to say about him. Here are some of the accolades that I put together. Let's start with the 2002 movie, The Way Home. He shot into stardom and into everyone's heart as Korea's favorite grandson. With the 2004 drama, Precious Family, he was praised for his depth and intensity. During the 2011 drama, Warrior Pek dong -soo, he was praised for perfecting his duplicitous character. And with the hit 2015-2016 drama, Remember War of the Sun, he got accolades for bringing such a genuine and authentic performance. Exactly. Now, we only mentioned, of course, a few of the 30-plus productions uh, he starred in, but I think he uh, received a tremendous amount of support each and every time. People really respect his hard work. He does really work hard, right? That's right. He works really hard, and he shows a great performance every time, especially in Remember War of the Sun. There was a scene when he's sobbing, crying after losing his father, and even after he got the OK sign from the director and all the cameras turned off, he couldn't stop crying, and that yeah. really touches my heart. Um, it was emotional for everyone, and the minute-by-minute -minute ratings for that sobbing scene shot up to 23%. It was pretty incredible. Maybe I could try this here <laughs> on the show. No, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, okay. you look much better when you're smiling. Okay, fine. I won't cry. Then. Don't cry. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Anyhow, using his genuine passion for acting really shows on screen. In the movie Sondar, the man who sells the river, he plays a con man, and out of many disguises, he plays a woman. I saw that, and he looked very good in a traditional Korean wear hanbok, and he even had full makeup on with lipstick, foundation, and that whole deal. Yeah, well, hanbok, uh, traditional Korean costume, doesn't only look good on <laughs> girls, it's also really nice on guys. What did people have to say about that, Elaine? I really think they loved it. Here's some of the comments they had to say about his disguise in the movie Sondar, The Man Who Sells the River. A woman commented that they wished they looked as good as him. People said that his eyebrows kind of gave him away. A lot of comments about how even in disguise, you can't hide his good looks. And of course, what we saw most was that he was so pretty. Yeah, well, pretty, that's exactly the word. He does look pretty, and uh, that's not a bad disguise, by the way. I like that Yusungo doesn't feel like he really needs to fit in that stereotype to be like a rough and tough guy. That's right, and he researched a lot for this role. He tried to find ways to sound more like a girl. Mm -hmm. And you know that wink he does while he's in disguise? It actually wasn't in the script, and I personally loved it. Can you try that? Huh? <laughs> Let's not see it from Adrian. I only want to see it from Yusungo, okay? Okay. <laughs> This movie character was really different from his previous roles, which were typically very serious and sincere, right? Yeah, I really loved it too. It was really fun watching him be playful and flirty. 
Exactly. Well, now all joking aside, even if he's very flirty on screen, he has actually never been in a relationship before. Isn't believe that it or a not. shock? No way. Yeah, he's never been in a relationship. Uh, that's what he says. Believe it or not, mm -hmm. I think Crystal doesn't really want to believe <laughs> him on that one. But he's been working very hard uh, since a very young age, so I can probably understand him. Uh, and he was telling uh, jokingly that for him. The hardest genres are romantic comedies or just melodramas because he doesn't have that experience. He's never been in a relationship. He doesn't know what it feels like to uh, be in a breakup situation, things like that. Well, he may not be ready to get into a serious relationship, but there are a ton of ladies who are ready, including me. <laughs> and I know that he has quite the fan club among female celebrities, too. Oh, yeah, this is a fun fact. No matter at what age, whether they're single or married, many actresses have spoken up about how they feel about Yoo Sung-ho. Ramiran worked with him in Seondar, the man who sells the river. She said yes to the movie after hearing he was in it. She didn't even read the script. After school member Lizzie confessed that she was a huge fan and couldn't wait till he finished his military service. Actress Hong Yuri said that her perfect man has Yoo Sung-ho's looks. And Kim Han-er also said he's her idea of her perfect man. Exactly. So basically, this is just to show us that he is receiving a lot of love and support from people inside the entertainment world. So my question is, you know, how much more attention is he going to get? Is he going to get when he reaches his 30s? And the second question, you know, when it comes to romance on screen, who is it going to be? Who is that special girl? I personally can't wait. And something I love about our celebrity Mito stars is that not only are they good looking and of course talented, yeah. but they're really grounded and they're really smart. They have really kind hearts. And Yusungo is no exception. Yusungo was granted special admission for mm. college, but he denied it. He said, I don't need that. And he just went into the army to fulfill his military duties. I guess he has a good head on his shoulders. He knows where he's going, what he's doing. He's maybe a bit different from those uh, out-of-control child actors. So good luck to him. Wow, he's just really popular. We have some of the messages from his fans via Showbiz Korea's social media. And here are some of the messages that they sent. They are so long that I'm going to have to paraphrase. There are messages about being a fan since The Way Home and how they're impressed with each production he does and how awesome he is. Another fan wished him luck and success with his new film, and someone else wrote how they love watching him bring characters to life. Here's one short and sweet. Oppa, you have always been in my heart and will always be. 사랑해. 사랑해. 사랑해, Oppa. Oppa, 사랑해, Oppa. <laughs> yeah, so with this kind of love uh, and support, I'm sure he's going to go really, really far. My question is, when are we going to see him again on the small screens? Maybe you can tell us, a drama? Well, he's currently looking into a drama that's set to air this October, but nothing's set in stone yet. But mm -hmm. of course, we'll let you guys know as soon as we find out. Exactly. Okay, so this was our first celeb o meter with Elaine. So how did you feel? Well, it was a bit nerve-wracking, but I had a lot of fun. I actually got to learn something new about Yoo Sung-ho. He said in an interview that he likes bringing joy to people, and that makes him quite happy. And I really like that mindset because one day I would like to be the kind of person to bring joy to people. And you can do that with us here on the show. Bring us a lot of joy. Thank Absolutely. you very much.